What's up, Internet? It is still raining! Yay! Uh, we are doing this way earlier than we normally do, and there's an important reason for that, and that is, it is Sunday. And we're gonna work on something important. Our collection list of bugs. And we're gonna do that by proceeding to go to the next town over instead of doing anything here. Because, we're going to go and meet someone that's... Oh, we've never actually properly met them, but we've seen them around pretty frequently. And the reason why we've never properly met them is they stop hanging around around noon. And I don't play this normally until like 8.30 at night. Sometimes 9.30 at night. Uh, but we do need to actually, you know, talk to them and get something from them in order to work on our collection. Because, well, I'll, I'll show you when we get there. But, uh... We should be able to have time because currently it is 4.30 and we go to the other town which is six hours ahead behind of us and that should make it about 10.30 a.m. which means we should have time to see this person off. Now the problem is we gotta find them. But if we can do that I would consider today to be basically a success. The nice thing is we'll still have plenty of time to uh, try and collect the other bugs and fish that we need as well because that should be within that time frame as well. Also, there's a quick cameo of exactly who we need to talk to, to the right, who we could just talk to right now, except we gotta deal with Rover, like we always do, as much as no one ever wants to deal with Rover ever, because he's freaking Rover, and this stupid shirt that I totally wear better than him, and I'm already losing my voice, so this is a good day. Ugh. On the bright side, this is a nice little break from playing a little bit of uh, Chalvo 55 for a review. Because yay for obscure Japanese games no one's ever heard of. But you can find plenty on my YouTube channel. And I suggest you do, because it's quite fascinating. And it's not raining here. This means we can find bugs, as well as fish. Which means I'm gonna have my net equipped primarily, I think, just on the off chance to run into that special dragonfly. Because that one's not going to afford us really any time to change equipment. So we no longer need that in there. Boom. Inventory space. Now, I'm not sure if Copper will tell us where Joan is right off. But we'll take a look. Let's get rid of these. I actually really like this song. Alright, Copper. So, we're looking for Joan. And you're not going to tell us anything about that. Okay, so we're just going to wander around and look for Joan. On the bright side, we have like an hour and a half before she disappears. So, plenty of time. And maybe we can find some bugs. I hear a bug. A large brown cicada, we don't need that. It's a common dragonfly, we don't need that. It's a good tune in the background. Okay, so where could Joan be? See, I, I like that we've played this game for over half a year at this point, and we still haven't actually gotten introduced to Joan. <laughs> Like, just who's up that early on a Sunday, realistically speaking? Crazy people? That's a drone beetle, we don't need that. Uh, we're in the other town, she is. Or she should be, anyway. That's a Darner Dragonfly, we don't need that. So she should be somewhere around here. Just gotta find her. Here, a cicada, but I don't think it's the kind we need. There's tons of stuff to dig up too, so we got stuff to do once we, you know, complete our mission. That's not what we're looking for. This is where we're gonna find another giant snake head on the other side of the world. We won't be able to get it. Where could she be? It is in fact Sunday, and as far as the world is concerned. It's before noon, so she should be kicking around somewhere. But 
like everyone, she's random, but unlike everyone else, Copper doesn't tell us where she is. There she is! Joan! So, she runs the stock market, spelled with an L because of course it is. Basically, you buy turnips from her. Turnips go for a randomized price when you buy them, and you can sell them for a randomized price every day. The idea is you want to buy them at a low price and sell them at a high price because stock market junk. Except, that's not what we're here to do. See, what we're here to do is buy as few turnips as we possibly can, leave them on the ground, and then wait one week for them to rot. Because if you want ants, that is how you get ants. And we want ants. I will buy ten. Seriously, I would buy one. I, I don't care how many you sell me, I just need a turnip to rot for me. I think you can also get um, flies in other games, as well as cockroaches that way. Alright, so we now have our turnips. Go team. So now we just have to really just hang out, see if we can catch some bugs or fish. I know there's two fish we still need. I hear a bug that we need. Where is it? There it is. Boom! There's the walker cicada. Alright. That's one less bug we need to worry about. Our bug collection is slowly getting complete. We still need one other bug that we can get right now. Which is the banded dragonfly. I think we might be able to get grasshoppers as well, but I'm not sure. strip fruit salad. That actually sounds pretty good. Although I'm not a big fan of feta. Or cranberries, really. Sometimes I'll drink cranberry juice, but that's like the extent of it. That might be a fish we're looking for. All I know is it's a vaguely average sized fish that can be found in rivers. So that could very well be the fish we're looking for. So I've got a moment, since we're waiting on this fish to come somewhere. I'm going to start crossing stuff off my list that we've already collected, because I haven't done that yet. So let's see, we got a walker cicada. We got ourselves the Popeye fish. That leaves three insects and two fish for us right now. Come on, fishy fish. Come down here, I want to catch you. Beaches, if you scare this fish away, I will throw you into the lake. I think this might actually be the fish we need. And if we could catch it, that would just be super. And it doesn't need creepy pink donkeys with stitches for eyes to scare it off. It needs my fishing rod. So, if we can get this, and this is what I think it is, which, with my life, will probably just be a barbell steed. Because of course it would be. Now, if this is what we need, then we just need one more fish. Unfortunately, it's only available on one tile of the map. Come on. Oh, come on, you stupid fish. Why do fish just not like me? Do they know I'm a giant fish stick magnet? Oh. Awesome. Not a medium sized fish at all. Where is that? I guess we've got some stuff we can go sell the nook while we've got a moment. Hey, there's Joan. Again. Still not seeing the banded dragonfly, which is for the best because that one's a pain in the ass to catch. But on the same token, it's terrible that we haven't found it because it's a pain in the ass to catch and we kind of need one to complete our list. Open that. Got a T Rex skull. Got a Triceratorso. So. And a T Rex skull. Nice. Now, I really hope you enjoyed our interaction with Joan because we probably never do it again. <laughs> because, like I said, who gets up this early on a Sunday? Alright. 
not seen much here. Oh, there's the N64 logo. All right, before we leave, we'll try and grab some flowers for our village. But right now, it's basically just looking for dragonflies, maybe grasshoppers, and two fish. Because I really want to work on finishing up our collection as much as we can, anyway. Hey, tall percoloid. I'll take that. That's a common dragonfly. There's Joan, but we don't need to talk to Joan ever again. No! Ah, oh, come on! <sighs> okay, so that was the dragonfly we needed. Like I said, it's a pain in the ass to catch because it disappears a lot. And it flies at max speed, and if you try and chase it, it disappears. It is the worst insect to catch ever, bar none. And the best way to catch it is basically to get lucky. And as I'm sure you've noticed at this point, I've never been lucky in my life. I've frequently and often been unlucky. So to run to a fish that is entirely luck based is not good. Uh, that's a darner as indicated by the fact it's not flying away at high speeds. And we're gonna kinda just cycle around this little area because the thing you have to understand is if a fish can spawn anywhere in a river, with the exception of specifically like the waterfall area, it can spin, it can spin, it can uh, spawn right here in the pond. And a fish we're looking for specifically spawns in the pond, so combine that with the one that we need from the river, we can catch everything in that one acre. Problem is, it's awkward to try and catch anything in the pond. Warbeloid. So I think what we're gonna do is try and go from underneath the pond just so we can at least see what we're trying to fish for. The problem is that, of course, we have no access to the pier from there. And that means that it'll be a little bit trickier to get our fishing rod where we want it to go. Hence why I couldn't catch the uh, giant snake head last time I did. I had that banded dragonfly dead to rights too, and I just whipped it. It's so embarrassing. Get the weight ball. Go away, no one likes you. You're ruining my life. Go play with the ball pencil. Still haven't run into any grasshoppers, which we should be able to around this time, supposedly. It might be later in the month, I'm not sure though. That might be an average sized fish. It looks a little small for what we're looking for, but seeing as we're looking for one giant fish and one average sized fish, I should go after whatever comes our way. I don't care for you, Mr. Steed. Mr. Barbell Steed. It's a common dragonfly. That might be what we're looking for, maybe. Come on, fishy fish. Man, what is with my reflexes today? They just do not want to work out for me. I don't see any fish here right now, which is a little strange. There's usually at least one fish. That's too small. But there should be a fish here. And unless it's mixed in with... Oh, there it is over here. Scared off, because I don't need that one. common dragonfly. If it's a bandit, it'll typically leave before you have any chance of actually catching it. Oh, that might be what we're looking for. Nope. I'll take it. I like it more than I like the barbell steed. I'll give it that much. Butterfly. Not a big fish. That's too small. I mean, on the bright side, we've got turnips and we got the cicada, so we're still working on ticking stuff off our lists. But we still have, like, the big ones that are 
kind of the tricky ones that I worry about if we're trying to actually properly get all the gold implements. The fish is too small. That's a butterfly. Nothing there. Too small. If we can get these insects and, and fish, that would just be so awesome. That's a darner. You can tell because it's green. Banded ones are yellow and black. And they tend to move like a bat out of hell. The odds of actually catching one are basically non-existent. That fish is too small for what we're looking for. The only reason I'm really focusing on this more than anything right now is just because we're here and we're here for like this specific time. Because they're like time specific stuff. So I figure I might as well kill multiple birds with a single stone if I can. I mean apparently there's supposed to be like grasshoppers that spawn in like this scrub area like here, but I haven't seen any. They might not show up till later in the month. That might be... Ah, oh, it's a darner. I got excited over nothing. Just reminds me I should actually have my net out at all times unless I see something that's a fish I suspect to be something I want. Just because of a bandit does show up. They tend to not really like giving you time to swap stuff. Now the nice thing is this isn't like Wild World where you can actually like have to do everything in real time, but still, I'd very much like to, you know, try and save us all a bit of a headache and get the banded dragonfly sooner rather than later. Especially because later could be never. And I would prefer later to be a time when I have it. It's not big enough to be either fish we're looking for. Nope. On the bright side, I think the fish we're looking for, they're available for a while left on the clock. Whereas the Bandit Dragonfly, I don't think it's exclusive to July or anything, but it's just so tricky that it's something you definitely want to try and focus on if you can. Problem is, unlike a lot of bugs, which allow you to like wind up your net and aim, this one's basically just press the button as fast as possible and hope you aimed right. Longhorn beetle. I don't need anything from around here. Where, oh where can our little insectoid friend be? Not in our net, and that's the part that frustrates me about all this. Because that's of course where we want him to be, specifically. That's not a big enough fish. That's not anything. I guess that's one of the frustrating things when it comes to like trying to finish a collection, especially when it's a collection you have to finish under a set period of time, is, you know, when you finally get down into the last couple, it just becomes like a sort of just frustrating romp of just waiting for what you're looking for, as we're currently trying to do. On the bright side, we've at least made some progress today. That fish is too small. That's a butterfly. And yep, I could catch all of these things and make some bells, but 
really it's the collection aspect that's most important to me at this moment. Problem is, it's entirely based on random spawns. Cicada, we have all of those. I'm just frustrated, like, the one time we saw the giant superfish of the pond, it spawned on the opposite side and there was no chance of us ever catching it. That kind of killed me a little. That fish is just too small. This is that one. I think you'd find, seeing as I'm looking for a fish that's like average size, it would be a little bit easier to find things that match that description, but right now we're just running a really tiny fish, almost as if to mock me. I'll go up here and see if we can find a dragonfly. I mean, probably not, but maybe. You need one. That might actually be a fish we can use. That looks vaguely average sized. Probably a barbell steed, but we'll see what happens. Yep, just as I suspected. All right, well, we tried. I don't need you anymore, Walker Cicada. I already have you. There's Peaches. Again. There's another Cicada. Tangy's house. All of its tangy leanness. Hey, there's a Pond Strider. Frustrating thing is I know we're basically just waiting around for random stuff to spawn. And we're basically in like the perfect situation for it to spawn, but we can't do anything other than just wait for it. And that sucks. Oop. That was probably a common dragonfly anyway. Average size fish, a very large size fish. Jewel beetle. I actually was gonna catch that one. That's worth a few bells. Longhorn beetle, don't need it. That looks like a small fish, so we won't bother. Still. We are making great strides towards finishing our collections. We've got four fish, and like maybe a fifth of the bugs left. We're doing pretty good collection-wise so far. That's a cicada. So that's a large brown cicada. They're the ones that make the loud racket. Then reused as a sound effect in basically every anime to make sure you know it's summer and it's Japanese. I don't know why that cicada sound effect is as popular as it is. Maybe they're just really prominent. I don't know. I live in a place that doesn't have cicadas, so I can't really speak for it. Tiny fish, not helpful fish. Tiny fish, tiny fish. Seriously, you would think that looking for an average sized fish would be a little bit more fruitful than it is. Jewel beetle. I can sell that, and I will. But 
right now, I'm mostly just looking for one dragonfly and two fish. Oh, we did find a fossil. And a water strider. Uh, I am terrified about how bad finding the banded dragonfly is going to be. Because it's like the worst thing. As awkward as finding like a snail was the first time I completed my bug collection, you know, the banded dragonfly is by far the worst bug. Because there's just not really anything you can do to make catching it easier. It's just an inherently very difficult insect. That fish is too small. There's Quetzal. I'll try and catch him, but I don't think he'd appreciate it too much. Butterfly. Let's go to the coast, maybe we'll find a dragonfly or some treasure. One of those things. Hey, a walker cicada. I just caught one of those, so. A fossil. Nice. And of course, because I've put my net away will run into the banded dragonfly. And I'll regret having ever put my net away. Alas. Butterfly. Let's get rid of these. I had one fly right at me and I whiffed it so hard. Ugh. I still feel so bad about that. Just, just awful. Fish is too small. Fish is too small. That's a cicada. But where, oh, where can our little insectoid friend be? I mean, I wouldn't be this focused on it if I didn't have to do this at a sort of an abnormal time for us. But I figure since we're taking advantage of that, we should really do that. Just go on a big bug and fish hunt, try and catch the last couple that we need for this month. Fish is too small. Pretty big fish. It's probably just a sea bass, but I feel like I need to catch it anyway. Cleanse the palate of all the barbell steeds I've caught. Yeah, got a boot. Awesome. I see a ladybug. I think this is the last month you can catch them. I thought I need one. Walker cicada again. Guess we'll go run around and uh, get rid of this boot now that we need it. It's stuck in our inventory and I don't want it. I can't litter. I spent too long cleaning this place up to start littering now. That's a tiny fish. I need a slightly bigger fish. Uh, still too small. currently in our net. So we can sell some stuff to Nook, make some more inventory space. Just gotta make sure not to sell to one bug that we need to give to Blithers. Get rid of that. I don't think I need either of these. Get rid of that, 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 and this. I'll take 9,000, sure. Mm. 
common dragonfly. It's not a dragonfly at all. There's Joan and a beetle. I think we have most of the beetles to begin with. just have to wait for it to fly into you. Drone beetles don't need it. That's not it. All they do is make each other angry. I don't know why they keep talking to each other. Oh, it's a darner. I don't need a darner dragonfly. I need the banded one. That's the fish we're looking for. I'm fairly certain. Come on, fish. Fish. Okay, if he gets pushed back to down here, we can do something at least. See, that's the problem with this acre. As much as I love this acre for its aesthetics, it is like the worst acre for actually catching anything. And it's gonna turn out that's not the fish we're looking for, that's just a big catfish. where I can catch you, you silly fish. And, you know, let me catch you and also be the fish I'm looking for. If all of those things line up just so, that would just be super. Uh, I love this acre, but I hate this acre. So much do I hate this acre. Please come over here. gonna sit over there by the pier where no one will ever be able to catch you on this side of the world. I mean, as long as he doesn't touch the pier, we're okay. I think if he touches the pier, he despawns like he did the other time. But if he floats over this way, I can at least catch him from being over here. Please stop fighting the stream. I mean, I'm all for fighting the flow of stuff, but right now I really need you to get pushed downstream a little bit. Please? Please? It would be really cool if you did and you didn't touch that pier and despawn and make me sad. swim under the pier and disappear forever. Go away, Goldie. You're going to jinx it. Almost. Come on, 
fish friend. Oh. I hate the both of you. You are just the worst animals. You threw off my groove. You know, if I didn't have to listen to you stomping around, I might have actually not completely panicked and missed that fish. And I'm going to continue to say that's my excuse, because it makes me feel better. Uh, that or that was the giant catfish and not the fish we were actually looking for. Well, I'm sad now. Bad dog. Bad lion. Alright, so the giant snake had disappeared. I'm very sad about that. See, it's frustrating when you're concentrating and suddenly you hear like animal footprints. It, it sounds like such a small thing, but it really does throw off your groove. It's like, oh, I'm working, I, I got this. Suddenly Goldie walks by, it's like, oh, this is gonna screw me over. Oh, suddenly there's another set of, you know, paw prints plodding around. Awesome. After all that waiting, too. Because the plodding around sound sounds suspiciously like the fish eating your hook sound. That's a darner, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <sighs> yeah, you should be angry. I'm angry. You messed up the whole situation. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for. No, I think that's a little too small for what we're looking for. Fish is definitely too small for what we're looking for. That's a common dragonfly. Get out of the way. Why'd you have to come into like the one acre I was using for fishing? And actually found the awesome super fish I was looking for. Her fashion sense was insulted. Good. Cicada. Fish is too small. Nope. Nope. But we did get the turnips that we needed, plus a cicada. So, I mean, today isn't a total wash. I'm just probably not ever going to be happy because of what just happened, because of those stupid animals. Uh. You cost me a giant awesome super fish that I needed for my collection. I don't normally have the time to go and get. Uh. And you're still in the way. Seriously, what compelled them to just start hanging out in the acre I was fishing in? It was just such a jerk move of them. Inconsiderate. I needed silence. And all I got was loud clomping. That fish is too small. That fish might have actually been the right size. Cicada. Common dragonfly. Fish is way too small. Hmm. Like where oh where could 
can our giant fishy friend be? Now that he's been scared off for life. Jewel beetle. There's no way I could have actually gotten around that tree to catch him anyway. Fish is too small. Fish is too small. Cicada. Tiny fish. That might actually be a fish we need. Or a barbell steed, one of the two. I think it despawned under the bridge. Yep. That's about right. Tiny fish. That fish might be one we need. Okay, now you two animal guys, please be quiet so I can do this properly. This is not going to be the fish we need clearly, but... Goldie, get out of the way. I want you to leave. I want you and Leopold to get out of the way and stop creating any sort of sound. So I can actually do this. Boom. Giant snake head. Missing one fish now. The vaguely average size fish. And then three bugs. So, we're making progress. As indicated by the fact we now only need three fish. Pretty exciting, I think. And I'm now no longer obligated to hang out in that one particular acre that makes catching anything difficult. But I do need to stay near a body of water as fish. On the bright side, our total number of remaining collectibles for the month is four. That's not bad. It's a darner dragonfly. Still, I mean, we got the giant snake head. That's one less headache for us to worry about. I think the banded dragonfly was a bigger threat, but that was probably the next biggest thing. Although the vaguely average sized fish we need to catch is also going to be a bit of a hassle. Because I don't think it's terribly common. I don't think that could be it, but what the hell, I'll give it a shot. See if that's our fish. Nope. Too small. Oh, let's not release the giant snake head. We need that for sure. I would kick myself so hard if I got rid of that. I mean, the bright side to only being able to spawn like one fish and insect per screen is that once you find it, you can kind of immediately know if that's sort of what you're looking for, but I would prefer to just be able to spawn a bunch of crap at once. 
into my our giant awesome flower garden would be so much better without those limitations. That's a common dragonfly. Don't have to worry about that. That's cicada, obviously. Common. A present from the sky gods. Perhaps we shall earn it. Have we earned the sky gods' favor today? It does look like it'll line up with this tree, so maybe. Or not. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. I don't want to lose it. That fish looks vaguely average size. I don't want to lose that present, though. Please be a fish I need. Nope. Stupid barbell steed. I only need one more fish. It's always a barbell steed that gets in the way. Aw, oh, go enjoy your dinner then. This does not hit this tree, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> I know it's something dumb that I'll probably never want or need, but I just... I'm so sad now. I mean, first, it was the fact I lost a banded dragonfly, the second it was losing the giant snakehead. Now granted, I got one back, but still. But losing that present, that's just salt in the wounds right there, is what that is. Small. Nothing here. I don't think we have to worry about grasshoppers just yet. That's a common dragonfly. We got ants taken care of. We just gotta wait a week. So it's really just the banded dragonfly and the last fish we need. That fish is too small. That's a butterfly. I genuinely don't remember much about this actual fish. I, I remember being vaguely average sized and gold when you catch it, but that's it. But I think it's like about as rare as a super fish, but it can spawn in pretty much any river tile. I don't like you, you stupid fish. That's probably the exact fish we need. And of course, by the time we get there, it'll despawn because we moved about half an acre away. Might be the same one. Well, now it's gone for sure. Well, now it's gone for sure. <laughs> uh, and of course, there's the dragonfly we need. Chit, 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 get out of the way. It's gone. Because of course it is. The banded dragonfly, it's the worst insect in the game. That might be a fish we need though. Carp. I absolutely hate the mentality of the banded dragonfly. You basically just have to wait for it to fly straight at you and just hope. It is the worst insect. Go away, you stupid cicada. Oh, there's a thing we can dig up. I don't think I'm going to worry about delivering fossils or anything today. That'll be a tomorrow problem. There's our dragonfly. Okay, that was dumb. So it was flying at an angle this way. I tried to cut it off and it just flies straight up. 
And that's why you can't really run with banded dragonflies, they just disappear on you. You can try and run at them, but you basically just have to wait for them to fly directly at you. Jewel Beetle! I can sell that. Not that I really need to. Cicada. Well, there's lots to know about Animal Crossing Superstar. If you want a lot of information thrown at you, I have an entire year's worth of Let's Plays of this up on my YouTube channel. But I can answer what I can. I'm not sure how much longer I'll be playing for today, because I am running out of time to actually catch everything, because stuff's on a time limit, but... You know, there's a message system and stuff, and like I said, I've got a huge set of YouTube videos you can go watch. That's just the archives of this. Come on. You know, it's probably the barbell steed, but I want that last damn fish we can get. It should also be noted, this is the original North American Animal Crossing, the port of the N64 one. So, you know, if you're talking about newer Animal Crossing, it's not going to be entirely transitory information, but a lot of it carries over. Boot. Ugh. Damn it. Choo-choo! Well, let's go sell some more stuff, make some inventory space, equip the net just on the off chance. Ooh, jewel beetle. More bells for me, and I don't really need them, but I'll take them. Makes me feel better about not having the banded dragonfly right now. Alright, Mr. Nook, I've got some stuff to sell. Okay, now we need to be careful not to sell the fish or the cicada. Everything else we can get rid of. Uh, yeah, that would be about it. As long as we don't get rid of that bug and insect, because those have to go to blithers. I don't know why, but this music kind of reminds me of Rusty Bucket Bay from Banjo-Kazooie. There's Joan. Not that we ever need to interact with her again. Darn her dragonfly. Fish is too small. That fish is probably a little too small too, but eh, we'll give it a shot. Don't go under that bridge, you'll despawn. And that would make me sad, because I need to catch you, maybe. It's gone. Too small. Ooh, there's a thing I can dig up, though. There's a fossil for us. And just in case, we're going to keep the net ready. Because the banded dragonfly does not give you second chances. That fish might be what we're looking for, maybe. Come on, Mr. Fish. Ah, this stupid thing. Damn it. Fish is too small. Nothing here. There's a drone beetle. I thought we need one. Like a crayfish. Cic 
spectator. That might be the fish we're looking for, maybe. Better to barbell steed, but... What the hell, we'll wait on it. Hopefully it doesn't go under the pier and despawn. Like things seem to enjoy doing. Like that. So a dragonfly, chance starts. No. No, it's not actually. Surprised. Really thought that would be the one we needed. And therefore wouldn't let us catch it because it's a banded dragonfly and they're just like that. Cicada. That was probably a Popeye goldfish. Or something of comparable size. swing the net and actually catch it. It's like, oh, wait, that's a waste of time. There's a butterfly. Choo-choo. This acre is kind of awful for a lot of reasons. Would you all get out of the way? Uh, I'm glad the dragonfly's not there. I wouldn't be able to catch it. Fish is too small to be what we're looking for. That fish might be it, but it's also a good chance to be a barbell steed. Let's roll those dice and figure out what it is, though. Whoops. Yep, that's okay. Yeah. That figures. Sad sounding cicada. Tiny fish. Tiny fish. Stuff's not going to be able to be caught very quickly anymore. It's not good. That might be it. fish book. I guess we'll never find out. That fish is definitely too small. Too small. Nothing here. No, it's too small down there. Take another trip down to the pond. And I think we'll circle back, go to Nooks, and uh, grab supplies for our town. Too small. Too small. That 
sacrifice worth a couple bells. Might as well catch it. Stone. I made some progress today anyway, that's a plus. small for what we're looking for, but that might be the fish we're looking for. And we'll never know. Hey, there's something we can dig up. Make a drilloid. Cool. Just want to equip this on the off chance we run into the bandit. Seems unlikely, but still theoretically possible. Here's a water strider. There's a common dragonfly. Cicada. Ooh, you might be the fish we're looking for. Please be the fish I'm looking for. It would just be super if you were. This is the last one I need for this month. Ah. I'll swap it just because I know it's worth more bells than a barbell steed, but... Sell that, sell that, sell that, and that. that takes 6,000 bells. Let's go and buy ourselves some flowers. We still gotta do that back home, too. Buy some tulips. Oh, that's right, we're almost done that acre too, that'll be exciting to finish off. Should be able to get started on the one right below the cliff. That's pretty cool. And there's a cicada, there's zero chance that we're gonna find our dragonfly here. Which is just as well, because everything stops despawning in about 30 minutes anyway. Might as well go home. Alright. Now the thing that also worries me is the combined goal of catching all these bugs and fish is of course to finish the museum, however, one thing to take into account is the fact that you have to finish the painting wing, which is entirely random. And I know there's four we're missing right now. Now granted, we do have, like, five months left to do it, but... Still... As it stands, we're missing one fish this month and three insects, although one's year-round and one hasn't spawned yet. So really, one bug and one fish. But that bug is the banded dragonfly, which is the worst bug in the game. Less than ideal, but still, we made a little bit of progress towards completing that chunk of list. Now we have to watch for Obertontus again. As 
Zeoct likes to do. It was boring, and I had animals interrupt my fishing for really rare fish. And I whiffed three chances to get the banded dragonfly. Because that thing is stupid. But on the bright side, we're gonna get gyroids pretty soon. That's exciting. Maybe we'll finally get one that we need to finish off our house. And then I may have to actually bother to clean my house. Okay. We're just gonna drop these turnips here. They'll go rotten in about a week. Which is part of the whole thing about the stock market being tricky, is you only have a week to sell stuff. And then once they do spoil, we can go and collect another bug we need. Can't plant anything here? Okay. I guess we're gonna go work on our garden in the next acre. I'm not sure if we can actually plant these on this hill. I guess we can. And I guess before we work on the bottom of that hill, we have to actually work on the hill itself. Oh. Since we're here, we'll go deposit some stuff for Blithers into the museum. That should make his day a little bit. Blithers, wake up. I have stuff for you. Alright, here you go. You may have this cicada. It's the last one we needed. I think you love insects just fine. Blech. I think cicadas are interesting, but that's also because I live in a place that doesn't have them. I also have a big fish for you. And that should leave, like, three fish left for the museum. Well, it took me trying not to murder two villagers who were interrupting me from catching it. Nope, that's it. So we finished one wing, we're close to finishing two others. There's the snakehead, hangs out with our even bigger fish friend. Getting close to finishing this place off. Let's take a look at the insect wing. Yep, all the trees out here are filled up. I guess we have all of the uh, beetles. We are only missing a few insects now, too. It's getting exciting, finishing off all these collections. All right. Oh, good, Pearl's still here. I don't care if anyone else leaves, but I need to keep Pearl. Let's not destroy our garden if we can help it. There's a cicada. Not that we need it. Nope. I actually don't need to sell, I need to buy some seeds from you. So we're getting close to uh, having all the collectibles this month. That's exciting to me. Because once again, it means that we're not behind and we'll have to like wait an entire year to get the rest of them. Because I don't want to do that. Ever. If I can help it. But we still have these three collectibles. One hasn't spawned yet, one's available year-round, but two are tricky. And one is the Banded Dragonfly, which is the stupidest insect in the game. 
I think in later games, stuff like the tarantula that, you know, actually physically attack you, those are worse, just because they're dumb, but... But I think in this game, Bandit Dragonfly, without a doubt, is the worst insect. Alright, there's that. I guess that will be it for tonight, or this afternoon, or this morning, or what, whatever time zone you're counting this in in Animal Crossing. Apparently it's almost 6 p.m. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every night, plus weekly Pokemon Let's Plays, which I have to do sometime later tonight, and other stuff when I have the time. You might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see over 1,200 videos waiting just for you, because that's how awesome you are. And not just Animal Crossing, granted there are like 250 of them at this point. But pretty much any kind of genre of game, I've got something there for you. Lots of weird stuff no one's ever heard of. Trust me, there's something there for you. I'm sure of it. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can, so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my abilities. Such as whiffing the banded dragonfly over and over and over and getting distracted by villagers and not catching the snakehead, but redeeming myself by catching the snakehead. Plus, you get yourself on the Discord where we can talk about awesome things like almost completing your collectible list for the month, and actually almost being done with the collectible lists in general. Seriously, we are close, and that's exciting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.